Hi guys, Ian Johnson from driversuccess.com. Today we're going to talk about two very simple and straightforward strategic planning tools that you can use. Okay? We're talking about SWOT and the TOES analysis. Now, everybody is very familiar with the SWOT analysis. It's very simple and it's a, it's a, it's a very simple strategic planning tool and it's a fantastic brainstorming tool. Okay? So in this case, what we're talking about is strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. And these four headings are allocated inside of a square and you are forced to basically occupy the inner portions of the quadrant with issues or attributes that pertain to your strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats of the given business function that you're analyzing. So in this case, the SWOT tool is a fantastic brainstorming tool. Okay? It allows you to get ideas down on paper, get them out in the open, and get them down into these four quadrants. So you can use this to analyze customer service strengths, uh, supply chain management strengths, uh, inventory management, warehousing, uh, operations, uh, your position in the market as a company. It's a good tool, as I said, for brainstorming. However, there's a couple of drawbacks to the SWOT analysis. And it all has to do with the perception, okay, in terms of the perception that you take. You may see your strengths one way, but those strengths may be seen as weaknesses by somebody else or even by your customers, okay? So the issue with the SWOT analysis is not uncommon to have way too much information Way, way too much information under some headings, okay, like opportunities and strengths, and not nearly enough under weaknesses and threats. And that's, a lot of that has to do with human nature. Individuals are always going to basically gravitate to their strengths and their opportunities, and they're not going to focus nearly as much on weaknesses and threats. So again, it's a great brainstorming tool. Get your ideas down on paper, but the drawbacks are you have too much information under certain headings, not nearly enough on another, okay? Now, the TOES analysis is a more involved process, and admittedly, I don't have nearly enough time today to cover all the aspects of the TOES analysis because there's a lot of variations to the TOES analysis. But I'm going to show you how I use it and, and how I put it to use, okay? And this is something that you'll see a lot of times when you look at the TOES analysis. A lot of people use it this way. What we're going to do with the TOES analysis is we're going to force ourselves to view our strengths and our weaknesses as internal to our company, okay? So... These are internal attributes that are company-wide and they're driven by the company. We're going to force ourselves to see our opportunities and our threats as external to our market. So they're represented in the market. And what we're going to do is we're going to simplify how we occupy strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats by keeping it to a minimum. Okay? So what you'll see often is an individual will start off with S1, S2, S3. Okay, W1, W2, W3, Opportunity 1, Opportunity 2, Opportunity 3, Threat 1, Threat 2, and Threat 3. Now you can go all the way up to 5, try not to go beyond 5, but what you're doing in this case is you're keeping it very clear and concise in terms of what your strengths are, what your weaknesses are, what the opportunities are in your market, and what the threats are in your market. And these threats could come from... Uh, competitors, it could come from uh, issues outside of your immediate market, it could be a competing technology. But what the TOES analysis forces you to do is, again, see your strengths and your weaknesses as internal to your company and your opportunities and your threats as external to your market. And what you do is, when you occupy your strengths right here and your weaknesses, okay, and you've done your, your opportunities, you've identified them in your market, and you've outlined your threats, you are going to link them on the inner portions of the, of the quadrant. Okay? So what you're going to end up doing is, you're going to say, how do we use our strengths to capitalize on our opportunities? Okay? How do we use our strengths to, cap to, to mitigate uh, threats? How do our weaknesses impact our opportunities? So what can we do to stop that from happening? What can we do to make sure that our weaknesses don't inhibit our abilities to capitalize on opportunities? And how will our weaknesses be capitalized by the threats in our market. So that's essentially how I go about using the TOES analysis, and that is something that you'll see a lot of companies use. Okay? So an example might be, you know, let's say you have strong engineering. Okay? That's, the, that's one of your strengths. And one of the opportunities in your market is customers that need custom parts. Okay? I'm going over the grid a bit. So what you would do is you would say, we're going to match S1 to O1. So we're going to use our strengths in engineering to capitalize on the opportunities in the market. We have strengths in engineering. The opportunity is customers need custom-made parts. Perhaps the threat is a customer that doesn't have as, as strong an engineering, but um, is still encroaching on your market share. 
So in this case, you would say, we're going to use our engineering, S1, to threat one. Okay? So this one would be encroaching on market share. Market share. Okay? So in this case, you've identified that your strengths in engineering can be used to mitigate the threat posed by your competitor. Okay? So in this case, with the TOES analysis, you've identified strengths and weaknesses as internal to your company, opportunities and threats as external to your company. You've kept these points to a minimum, minimum one, two, three, maybe four or five, and then you've, you've linked your strengths to your opportunities, your strengths to your threats, your weaknesses to your opportunities, and your weaknesses to your threats. And you've done away with the issue of the SWOT analysis, which is far too much information under certain headings, not nearly enough on another, and the problem of the perspective. What you might see as your strengths and, um, as a company might be viewed as weaknesses by customers or uh, other individuals. So that's it, the strategic planning tool, SWOT and TOES analysis. SWOT is a great brainstorming tool. TOES is a little bit more in depth. I've gone over the basic outline of how to use the TOES. It's a very involved process. It's not something that you can just do uh, you know, over an hour or two. You've really got to go into your strengths, your weaknesses, your opportunities, and your threats, and then link the internal quadrants on all four of them. So that's it, Ian Johnson, DriverSuccess.com. Bye-bye.